The best laptops for video editing mean that you'll never have to twiddle your thumbs waiting for a project to finish rendering again. But with so many laptop variations out there, which ones are the best for your video editing needs? We've rounded up a selection of choices that include potent processor power, plenty of RAM, and good quality high-res screens. These important features are essential for choosing the best laptops for video editing. But be warned that the high performance you need won't come cheap. Working with high-resolution footage is both power and memory intensive, so you'll need to make sure that your machine is up to the task. While it might be tempting to opt for one of the best budget laptops instead, you'll likely find that this just won't be able to properly accommodate your needs, and you'll find yourself wishing you'd plumped for one of these superior models anyway. A large beautiful screen and plenty of memory means that the best laptops for video editing tend to be larger than average. If you tend to work in one set space, then this shouldn't be an issue for you. However, if you're constantly on the go, you might want to opt for a scaled-down laptop. Just be aware that the power, battery life, and viewing ergonomics will be severely compromised as the body of the laptop gets smaller. We have listed the top 5 laptops for video editing and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, legitpick.com. Number 5. MacBook Air M2 The MacBook Air released in 2022 is the direct replacement to the MacBook Air M1. While it looks incredibly similar to its predecessor, it has been redesigned and is now powered by a more powerful M2 chip. The base M2 chip packs an 8-core CPU and 8-core GPU, which can be upgraded to a 10-core GPU for an additional cost. You also get 8GB RAM and 256GB of SSD storage, as standard but photographers and other creatives will almost certainly want to get at least 16GB RAM and 512GB SSD storage. With our 16GB test machine, we were astounded at how this little laptop could keep up with our most demanding processing request and not break a sweat. There are no fans to work, and it doesn't seem to heat up under pressure. A crystal clear display and comfortable trackpad and keyboard are complemented by a MagSafe power connector and two USB-C ports and a 3.5mm headphone jack for a minimal but utilitarian finish. All in all, this is an incredible machine for on-the-go image or video editing. We'd still go with a 16-inch MacBook Pro model for its more comfortable screen size, but the new M2 Air is still an awesome machine. Number 4. Asus ZenBook Pro Duo the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo 15 is a unique dual-screen laptop with a 15-inch 4K OLED panel up top and a smaller OLED screen above the keyboard. Asus's take on dual-screen laptops has evolved since the first iteration of the Asus ZenBook Duo with improvements in build quality and ergonomics, addressing some of the original problems. Has it grown enough to make Asus's version of dual-screen laptops something consumers clamor for? In some regards, yes, but it still feels like a niche device for a subsection of content creators. The ZenBook Duo Pro 15 UX582L brings a lot to the table with powerful specs for those who need them, and its second screen not only adds a wow factor but additionality. Some may not be fond of the keyboard and touchpad location, and the price is a serious deterrent. But the ZenBook Duo Pro 15 should be considered by content creators who need more screen real estate while on the go. While it's not technically a workstation, its performance and utility has earned its way on our best workstation laptops. Number 3. MacBook Pro 14-inch The MacBook Pro 14-inch is a more compact alternative if you love the sound of the features available on the larger 16-inch model, but were put off by its generous size. After all, many of us prefer having something ultra-portable these days. As the two devices are so similar, you're still getting a mini-LED screen that supports 1600 nits peak brightness and the P3 wide-color gamut, as well as a choice between either the M1 Pro or M1 Max Apple chip which provides an obscene amount of power for such a slim, fanless laptop. In fact, it barely made a murmur during any of our tests, so you can really put it through its specs. Essentially, you're getting all the same performance and ports, just in a smaller size which means you can still edit 8K videos in Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro all while not worrying about bringing a dongle or adapter as both of these models have built-in SD card slots, an HDMI port, and three Thunderbolt 4 ports. Number 2. Razer Blade 15 
The Razer Blade 15 is special in that it features an optional OLED display rather than a traditional LCD. With deep inky blacks and punchy vibrant colors, it looks incredible and with its 4K resolution equating to a pixel density of 282 ppi. It's super sharp, perfect for editing your UHD content on. With a hugely fast NVIDIA GeForce graphics card under the hood, it's up to the task when it comes to even the most demanding projects. And when you consider how many ports this thing has, 3 USB-A ports, 2 Thunderbolt USB-C, 1 HDMI 2.1 port, and a headphone jack, it's versatile too. If you opt for the base version, you even get an Ethernet port for fast wired internet, while the advanced models trace this for a useful SD card reader instead. The Razer Blade 15 comes with a 512GB or 1TB SSD for storage, and the advanced model can even be optioned with a 2TB SSD. A lightweight sub 2.2 kg design and sleek finish set the blade apart externally. Number 1. Apple MacBook Pro 16 The best laptop for editing videos we've tested is this Apple MacBook Pro 16, a premium mobile workstation. This model has a sleek design and an incredibly sturdy build. Its M1 Pro and M1 Max SoCs can handle high-resolution video editing with ease as they have dedicated media engines that significantly improve performance. They don't throttle under load, and the laptop never gets overly hot or loud. You can even get up to 64GB of memory and 8TB of storage. Just remember that you can't upgrade the components yourself later on. So, it's best to get enough to suit your needs up front. It has a mini LED screen that gets incredibly bright, displays deep blacks, and covers the entire sRGB and DCI-P3 color spaces. The factory calibration is superb, so you get accurate colors out of the box. Its wide port selection includes three USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI, an SD card slot, and a 3.5mm headphone jack with plenty of power to drive high-impedance headphones. The battery life will depend on what you do. You can get all-day battery life if you only perform light tasks, but for demanding stuff like video editing, you'll likely get a little over 2 hours, so you might need to bring the charger. If portability is more important than screen size, the smaller Apple MacBook Pro 14 is pretty much the same laptop, just with a more compact chassis. Battery life is a little shorter, but not significantly. And while the speakers don't sound as good as its larger siblings, they're still excellent and among the best in the laptop world. For Windows users, get the MSI WS76 instead. It's a 17.3-inch mobile workstation available with Intel 11th Gen processors and NVIDIA discrete GPUs. It performs exceptionally well and can handle demanding workloads. However, it isn't as portable as it's bulkier and heavier. Also, the display's factory calibration isn't as good in the DCI-P3 color space, so you'll have to calibrate it before doing any color work. So, that wraps up our list of the best laptops for video editing. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which laptop for video editing you're going to choose. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you in any way, please get this video a like and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.